guys, welcome back. So anybody that watched the video to the end knows I'm giving away the gun, the 5500 I bought. Sprayed it a couple times and I'm gonna be giving it away. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel because I'm gonna be doing some type of a giveaway on this gun for people that comment and uh, hit the thumbs up and, and support the channel. So I'm not sure how the rules are gonna play out yet, but we're definitely giving it away. So get subscribed, that way you could win. And I've only used it a couple of times, but I know it'd be more valuable to one of my subscribers. So stay tuned as we shoot this truck. So here's the job we're doing. It's a new bedside and a uh, tailgate. So I thought it'd be good to show a black job. That way we could really see the maximum reflection with that C2 cap, guys. So, so far I got this ready to go. I got it tacked down and I had to do the uh, chip guard on it. You guys know about that chip guard, the GM style they have. And I use the foam when I do this because it leaves a nice transition. You know, these don't have a sharp tape line. They have more of a faded. So if you guys are not using the foam on these for this particular job, it works nice to put the foam and then tape it off from here up and uh, shoot your chip guard on it. So I do those when I have one that's more of a tapered uh, chip guard, more than a straight line. Some are straight, some are this way, but just wanted to show you this job here. And we're gonna shoot this one and then clear it with the uh, DB1 with the C2 cap. So stay tuned guys. WS400 clear gun guys you know I use for my sealer so that gun lays a beautiful coat of sealer and that sealer from Sherwin's great stuff you guys seen it before so that's that chip guard so that's all sealed we'll hit it with base and uh, we'll clear it so stay tuned guys I hope you guys are enjoying the videos I'm seeing a lot more comments and I really appreciate it guys. So keep watching them, keep commenting, keep thumbs up on them. And uh, let's get this channel growing guys. All right guys, now we're going to base and we're using the 3M performance gun and I'm still using the one twos. I didn't try out the uh, one three or the one four yet that I got. So we're going for my WADA WS clear gun for the sealer to the 3M performance. And then we're gonna be using that DV1 with the C2 cap guys. So let's see how all three companies laying on top of each other come out. Look how nice that sealer lays down with that uh, clear gun. Looks like factory E-coat on there, real nice and slick. So I love that gun for sealer. And I'm sure the DB1 clear gun would lay a beautiful sealer too, but I'm not gonna try that out right now with mine. Maybe one day when it gets old and wore out, I'll do what I do with my Iwata and switch it out to sealer. When they come out with the new and improved DV1, it'll be the DV2. So let's go ahead and base this one out and then we'll clear it, guys. guys it's clear time and I figured it'd be a nice one to try it out on a black one so we could really see the true reflection of this one so hopefully by the time I'm done with this one I can shave in it but if not we'll find out so we don't want it too slick but we want it slick enough because 
This thing's got a, uh, a little bit of peel to it. Let's check out the other side and see what we're dealing with here. So we know. So you see he's got a real nice shiny glossy finish with a little bit of peel in it. This one's not too peely, but it's got some peel in it. I don't know if you guys, how much of that you guys can see. So let's see what we can do here and see if we can uh, duplicate this OE look and maybe make it look just a tad bit better, guys. So here we go. There's the finished product. Came out beautiful, clean, nice, flat, and it still has that factory orange peel in it. Came out really nice, and I'm real happy with it. So I think we nailed this one. I think we can definitely see ourselves in it. And, uh, but it still has that little bit of peel that it needs to match. So let's check out the other side and see how we did. So that's the side here. I don't know if you guys can see that little bit of peel it has in it. Now let's see what we got on our side. So, to me, I'd say we nailed it. But it came out nice and clean. So, I'm dialing that gun in, guys. So I would definitely pick up that cap if any of you guys is getting one. Make sure you get it and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way you're in for that gun I'm giving away, that 5500. So you guys know that's a good gun. It's just I got plenty of guns and I'd rather one of you guys have it. You guys will appreciate it more than me. So hit the thumbs up and I'll see you on the next video.